Hi friends this video is for rental module, but before that you need to install the rental module from App Store. Here when you will search for a rental module dashboard you will get a dependency of equipment rental module. Once the rental module is been installed you can see the menu here click on that you will get the submenu rental dashboard, rental, invo rental invoicing and reports. Now let's begin with rental dashboard, as you can see on the rental dashboard we have given from date, and to date, and also the status of the product availability. So let's click on it currently I have created a two products which is indicating the availability and non-availability both. So let's begin with the rental products creation let's say product rental 2 giving a category. Change it into storable product and give the amount for it. Now, here the rental price per day is 200. You have set this also, the accounting is compulsory. And in case if you are keeping the track of your product on a particular location, then you have to enable your traceability. Either you can do it by unique serial number or by lots. Once your product is set with all this parameter, let's begin to add a stock in it. Let's say if I have one product, so I will start with start inventory as I mentioned before, if you are maintaining any location or lot you can actually create the same and update the tie on that particular serial number. Validate, yeah, we are done with this. Now let's go back to rental dashboard comma display see you have got the third product as well. Let's begin with the transaction now, under quotation create. Here customer reference is mandatory, so anything as per your requirements click on order lines. Select the product so I have created product rental 2 at the moment. As soon as you select the product the lotted or serial number attached to it will be displayed or filtered out. Now let's say, if you want to rent this product from 19 of December till 21 of December it will be total of 3 days. We have maintained working days as 5 days. 6 days and 7 days. Currently the status of this order line of this product will be pending, so you have to confirm it. Go to the delivery edit. Please check the location and the serial number, and enter the quantity done and confirm. Validate, save. Now you can see the status of this particular order line is active. So let's go with the invoice now. I have rented my product from 19 till 21. Click on create and view invoice. You can see the data of rental customer, the product which you have rented out from start date till end date, and the amount attached to it. And let's validate. The invoice process is simple as standard process in Odoo. That's it. It is paid. Now what if you want to add a more extra days into it? So continuing with the same order, edit, click on the product order line. You can see we have an option of stand down and extra entry, click on the button so I am selecting let's say 24 of December, I am adding one more day. Click on extra days entry it will give a validations or a message alert, ok. Save. You can create the invoice for the same, so let's begin with how to return the product in the system. Now you can see here in this order there is a symbol. This is basically a cancel symbol click on it, it will ask you about this action, will cancel the rental order line so confirm it. Once you have confirmed you can see the status is return in progress, and also one delivery has been created in. This delivery is the return delivery so click on the same, edit. Make sure you are returning the delivery in the same location. Confirm, save, validate. So the return has been done. And you can see the status of this particular order is returned. So in this way the rental module has been designed, and it is user friendly. If you need any professional help to learn more on how to use it, you can connect with us at sales at practic.co.in. Subscribe to our channel in case not done so.